Nenad Zimanec, as we start the 2009 ATP World Tour se season, uh, life is pretty good for you at the moment. Father of new twins, number one doubles player in the world, and the uh, ended last year winning the, the team title with Daniel Nestor as well. Life doesn't get much better than this. That, that's true, you know, just uh, in the beginning of the year, you know, it didn't go that well, you know, and but the, the finish, the middle of the year, you know, just uh, also I got married uh, with uh, Mina, that was 24th of May, and uh, then we found out for the kids, you know, as well, that uh, she's going to expect at the end of the year, and just like you said, the whole thing, is, it, was, it was really amazing, and uh, for me, for the first time to become number one in the world in doubles, and then first time to win the Grand Slam in doubles, uh, men's doubles, and then to become a father, a boy and a girl, I mean, it was really amazing, the story. How difficult was it to get on the plane uh, to, to leave your beautiful twins? Now I remember all the stories, you know, that uh, when I was talking to my friends or older friends or some coaches saying, you'll see how difficult it's going to be, you know, leaving your kids and... It, w it was very tough, you know, but uh, at least I had a chance to spend with them almost like 30 days. Uh, so that, that, was, that was really nice, great experience and uh, really can't wait to, to go back and see them. Also, it helps now nowadays, you know, internet, Skype, you know, that you, we can talk, we can see each other, so I can see how they, they grow. My wife is sending me some pictures as well, so that helps too. Do you do the video camera chat with yeah, Skype? Yeah, of course, of course. When they're feeding, when they're eating, and you know, when they're feeding them, so that that's that's helping a lot. At the end of 2008, uh, the number one ranking and team title came down to the last match of the year at Tennis Masters Cup against the Bryan brothers. Can you just quickly recap uh, your thoughts going into that match with so much on the line? Uh, that came. Uh, at the end, you know, like uh, I would say, big, big prize, you know, like for for the finish of the year. We had a lot of chances. We uh, after Wimbledon, we, we were number one in the race. Then we did really well, even though I broke my arm and uh, it wasn't really 100% uh, everything. But we managed to do really well, winning, winning Toronto, making semis in uh, Cincinnati. But then. Uh, U.S. Open, we lost quite early, third round, and then indoor season where you expect us to play well, we didn't, and then coming to Shanghai it was, you know, completely without confidence, and uh, uh, it was tough in the first match against Polish guys and uh, Fristin Mimakowski. We got through that one, and then from that match on, we played really well. And uh, to be honest, you know, I wasn't thinking too much now about you know finishing one because we were not confident you know we I just took uh, each match you know just try to play as best as I could and uh, if uh, I knew that we had to win all the matches you know even in the theory to become number one I don't know if it was important that the Bryan said to lose one of the matches or not I'm not sure about that but it was nice to to know before the match that uh, if, if we win the, this match, we're going to win the, the Masters Cup, which is going to be the first title for me in the Masters Cup. Two years earlier, I lost in the finals. And uh, with uh, Leander, it was actually 2005. For Danny, he won the title last year with Mark Knowles. So to play against the Bryans, you know, it was, it was really a big, big match and probably one of the biggest matches in my career, definitely. It's Wimbledon finals, this finals, especially what was uh, what we were getting, you know, as a, as a winners. And in 2009, would you say that the uh, the race for the uh, the ATP uh, World uh, Championship uh, doubles team is likely to be uh, Nesta Zimanich and and the Bryan brothers? Could you see any other team uh, having a chance? Uh, it's it's gonna be. I, I think it's tough every year. You know, we. 
brands were consistent like last four or five years they've been always either one or maybe maybe two you know but uh, they've been dominating pretty much now I think it's the the first time that somebody you know is there with them you know winning approximately the same amount of points but uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if, if there is another team you know like another two two three teams uh, playing the same level, you know, throughout the year, it's going to be very difficult to match this because uh, they've been winning like a lot of tournaments, playing a lot of finals uh, in, in each year. So we managed to do it last year. We started well in this. We just uh, play the finals in Doha, uh, but we have to do extremely well at the, the Grand Slams and the Masters Series. That's going to be the, the key, and that's what brought us the, the first spot at the end of the year.